We are under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of Baseball on the Show. Coming up, we've got a good matchup in store between the Oakland A's and the Seattle Mariners. Digging in, Ramon Laureano. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. The 1-1. One, one. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. But it bends just foul into the second deck. The 1-2. He swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Striding in for Oakland, Tony Kemp first at bat for him in this one. He was one for four with a double in the ball game last night. Good battle. Count remains full. Good night for baseball all in all. Game time temperature 63 degrees. Oh, and he can't catch up to the fastball as he swings and misses for the second out. So bases are empty here with two gone. And up next, a Berkeley area native, Marcus Simeon. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. This is on the ground over to first. Scooped up. Throw on to first. Gets him, and the side is retired. And here's the speedster, D. Gordon. It'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Hard liner, but picked up on a hop. Throws in time, and that's out number one. So the base is empty here with one away, and that'll bring up the speedy outfielder, Malik Smith. 1-1. Bolton. Bases are empty, one man out. Counting two and one. Eight. Strike two called, and it's even at two. Don't expect too many more high fastballs in this one. He is known for his sinker, keeping the ball on the ground. And indeed, the throw will finish him off as they get the put out at first, and there are two away now. The right field. Digging in now for the Mariners, Mitch Hanniger. First cuts for him here with the bases open and two away. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. Second inning set to go, and next to bat will be the first baseman, Matt Olson. All even now, two and two. And he just misses inside with the fastball there. Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. Once again, a 3-2. And another foul ball. Locked in a good battle. Here comes another one. And that misses for ball four. So it's a leadoff walk here to start the second. Next up for the A's, Mark Canna. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Swung on and missed. He didn't even come close to contact on a ball way out of the zone. One out. And that'll bring in Matt Chapman. First swings for him in this one with a runner still at first and one gone. And he lays off here. A nice job. It's ball four. First and second now with one away. Coming to the plate now, Chris Davis. And he could give his guys an early lead if he can come through here. A ball and two strikes. Two balls and two strikes. The count to Chris Davis. Here now the 2-2 is laid off and the count runs full. Steven Piscotti, the number eight hitter here, waits on deck. Oh, and this is swung on and missed. Four strikeouts already, and that's out number two. 
Outfielder Steven Piscotti, the next to hit. He's back in the starting lineup for this one after sitting out last night's game. On the line, that's a base hit into left field. On Gonzalez puts it right there. He's out at home plate. So now to the plate, Daniel Vogelback. Here's a swing and a long drive high in the air and deep to center field. And he's going to have room to put this one away, and that's the first out. Here's Cargo, Carlos Gonzalez. He was not much of a factor at the plate during yesterday's win as he took an 0 for 4 line. Hit out towards second, reined in, and there's out number two. Here's the third baseman now, Kyle Seeger. He had a homer in the ballgame yesterday afternoon. Seeger. The 1 1 home is taken for ball two. Bottom of the second here with no score. Won't go after the 2 1 sinker, and it's three balls in a strike now. Three ball count right now. This looks like the best chance of getting a base runner on so far. And that one's taken outside for a ball. He walked him. So no one, two, three inning here. They've got themselves a two out base runner. One and one. Here it comes. Two balls, two strikes. Well, this has been a good at bat. He's now worked to count full to three and two. It allows the runner on first to be on the move with two away. Working for the punch out and the offering. And he misses again. Ball four. And that's back to back guys now that have reached base via the base on ball. One and two, the counts of the Mariners shortstop. Hit in the air down the right field line. But this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. Ready with the one two. To two balls and two strikes now. He stays alive still two and two. Now about a 58-foot breaking pitch that he wisely lays off here. You can certainly tell at bats like this one, frustrate the heck out of a pitcher. But you got to find a way to stay composed and execute your plan. Payoff pitch on its way. Skied down the left field line. And the two-out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. Into the box now, Austin Allen, as we are all set to begin the third inning in this one. The 1-1 one, one home. Right side, defense aligned perfectly, and that's through for a hit. Stepping in now, Ramon Laureano smoked on the ground up the middle, and that's through for a base hit, make him one for two in this one. The battle of the clock, second base. To the plate now, Tony Kemp in front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Mm -hmm. Two strikes on him now. The 2 2. Not a time to fool around right now on a 3 2 count with the middle part of the order coming up. Expect a good pitch to swing at. 
Open to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Seeger has it. One there. On to first, and they turn the double play. So stepping in, Marcus Semyon. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. High in the air out to center field. On the run is Smith. He tracks it down, and that will end the inning. Next for Seattle, Patrick Wisdom, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. And a curveball's by him that time as he falls behind now, one and two. That pitch was so slow it barely registered on the radar gun. Yeah, Matt, we don't see too many pitches crawling to the plate like that, especially these days. That can be a really tough pitch for a hitter to wait back on. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the one, two. Well off the inside that time as the sinker misses for a ball. Hit out towards second. He's got it. One away. Here's D. Gordon now. Second baseman, D. Gordon. Now the one and one pitch. This is lifted out to left. Davis is under it. Two gone. So bases are empty here with two gone. And that'll bring up the speedy outfielder Malik Smith. The one two. There's a high pop up. Chapman over to his left. And the inning is over. And that'll bring up Matt Olson. This game is rolling right along as we move into the middle innings with no score. You'd think by now one of these two teams would be able to get some. Here's a fly ball well hit. Looking up is Hedegar. And that one is gone! Hey. In now, Mark Canna. Two and two. Two and two. Hit back up the middle. Gordon is there. On to first, so a good bounce back pitch there as he gets the ground ball for the first out. Stepping up now, Matt Chapman. One run in and one gun so far in the inning. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Gordon is up with it, and he'll whip this one over to first, and he gets his man for the second out. The left fielder, number two. Here's Chris Davis now. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Yeah, he's got to put that one behind him, especially with runners in scoring position. Those punch outs will stick with you a little longer. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Looks like this guy's afraid to throw the ball in the strike zone. Gave up that home run earlier in the inning. Needs to get back to being aggressive. Three and one to him now. Hard hit towards center. That gets down and the inning will continue. And this one scoots all the way to the wall. And he'll coast into second here with a two out double. Now that the right fielder. Even Piscotti. Into the box, Stephen Piscotti. He's fallen behind now, three and one. I don't blame him for not coming over the heart of the plate. He circled this guy on the lineup card when he got to the yard today. He's been swinging one of the hotter bats in the game. And that misses, ball four. So it's first and second now with two out. Davis over at second. Piscotti at first, two out in the inning. Fastball is looked at for strike two. Two strike. Fouled away.
He set the 2-2. Two -two. Hit hard on the ground is short. Toss over to Gordon at second, and that ends the inning. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth, and standing in the outfielder, Mitch Henniger. A ball and two strikes to Mitch Henniger. And he connects with it. This one's hit deep out to left center field. See you later. Over the wall, a home run. Standing in now, Daniel Vogelback. And right into the shift. But this will wind up a foul ball. Two and two. And a good sinker there gets him swinging for the first out. Now at the plate, now Carlos Gonzalez. Gonzalez. And he takes three. ball three, so it's a full count now. There's Kyle Seeger in the on-deck circle. We'll see him next. Hit on the ground to short. Simeon's there. And the throw forces him to lay out for that one, but he keeps a foot on the bag to record the out. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Kyle Seeger reached base via the walk in his first plate appearance. A ball and two strikes now. Hey, nice job of bouncing back after the leadoff homer. Two quick outs after the bomb, and he's got a chance to get out of this. The 2-2. Grounded back up the middle. Rwanda Olsen will take care of him at first, and that ends the inning. Eric Swanson, a right-handed reliever, standing 6-3, gets the ball now out of the bullpen. So it's back to the top of the order now. And up next will be Ramon Laureano. And he takes a cold strike, too. Fastball swung on and missed for the first down. So one away here with the bases empty and striding toward the plate to hit next Tony Kemp. Even at a ball and a strike here's the pitch. Swanson playing here in his age 26 season he was an eighth round selection during the 2014 draft. Hey this guy's got a chance to be an absolute steal being drafted where he was there are definite signs that he has a chance to make an impact at the big league level. Fielded cleanly. And he'll step on first for the out. Three unassisted. So bases are empty here with two gone. And up next, a Berkeley area native, Marcus Simeon. The 1 1 home. One run, five hits, and no errors in the ballgame for the A's so far. Swing and a miss. Blew the fastball right by him, and the inning is over. Stepping in, Tom Murphy. He drew a walk his first time up. Tough pitch to lay off there, but he did, and it's even up at two and two. Ouch, that comebacker appeared to get him in the arm. Oh, and he can't come up with it. The battle. The book battle. At the plate now, J.P. Crawford nipped the corner, two and two. Swing and a line drive. In there, a base hit. Now battle, number 22. 
at the plate. Patrick Wisdom on a line to shortstop. Back to the top of the order now. And up next is Speedy D. Gordon. Here comes the 3-1 pitch. Now a swing and he pops him up. And I believe, yes, the umpire signaling for the infield fly rule. Malik Smith, the next to hit. He was retired after popping out in his last at-bat. Yeah, pretty impressive if you ask me. So many times you beat a sinker into the ground, you end up grounding out the third. You're running down to first base, and you're so upset at yourself. At least he got under the thing. He knows his bat plane is pretty decent. Here's the one-two. This is pulled into right. That's in there. Base hit. Oh, and he has some trouble with it. To the plate now, Mitch Hanniger. Pitch is popped up. And Chapman gathers it in. The inning is over. Leading off the inning, Matt Olson as they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. Going back to that last A.B., that was the express. That was an upper 90s fastball that he turned around. So I think with this guy, you might want to try to incorporate some more off-speed pitches. A little early, and now it's even at 2-2. Two and two. And that one never threatened the zone. It's gone full now to three and two. Fouled off. Tough pitch to lay off, but he did, and it's ball four, so the leadoff hitter is aboard to start the sixth. Now batter. So a runner at first now with nobody out. And striding into bat next, it will be Mark Canna. The 1-1. One -one. Sharp ground ball to third. There's one. On to first, and they get the double play. Ready once again, Matt Chapman. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. But this will be a foul ball as that evens things at two and two. Line toward the alley in left center. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. And it keeps the inning alive for Chris Davis up next. Now batter, the left fielder, Chris. Into the box now, Chris Davis. And this pitch misses for ball four. So that's going to move a runner into scoring position now, now with two away. Right fielder, Steven Pichotti. Hard hit ball to second. Scooped up on to first. And the A's fail to cash in here as the side is retired. Lou Trevino will come on now as he'll be appearing in his 45th game this year. Striding forward now, the Mariners' cleanup hitter, Daniel Vogelback. No hits to this point. Now the three and two pitch is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. Stepping up to the plate, Carlos Gonzalez. He started out the evening 0 for 2 so far. Here's the 2 1. Hit back toward the mound. And that'll get on through into center, and he's got himself a one out hit. Now back. The third baseman, Kyle. Stepping in now, Kyle Seeger. And he fouls this one off. The 2 2. Looked like the cut fastball there, and he got him to swing through it for the second out. Settling in now, Tom Murphy. Low scoring game thus far. 2 to 1 here in the sixth.
A ball and two strikes to the Mariners catcher. One ball, two strikes. Oh, right back to him on the mound. And he'll flip it onto first, and with it, that ends the inning. Taylor Gilbo is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Number 45. Seventh inning ready to roll, and now it'll be the catcher, Austin Allen. This thing's far from over, even though we're moving into the back end of this game. Only down by one. All they need to do is get this leadoff guy, and they're an extra base hit away from tying this thing up. And he lays off ball four. So now the potential tying run here is aboard late in the game. The 2 1. Pitch is popped up. Seeger is there for it. He's got it one away. Ready for another shot now. Tony Kemp. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. Yeah, Matty, expect this pitcher to try and get the same result. That's his last at bat right here. The double play is in order. Anything on the ground, the way this defense is, they could certainly roll to. One run, six hits, and no errors in the ballgame for the A's so far. Hit hard on the ground towards second. A diving effort here as he gets a glove on it. And the recovery throw will have no chance at second. It's an infield single, and there are two on with one away now. In now, Marcus Semyon. And a half-hearted attempt that time as he broke the plane of the plate. It's a ball and two strikes now. Fastball laid off well below the knees. It looked like he tried to get him to chase on that pitch there, one and two. A good idea, but I think now he has to challenge him a little bit. He doesn't want to get into a worse situation with the cleanup guy up next. Got him to go down the swinging team. there. Marcus Matt. Simeon is the second Thank out you. in the seventh inning. Matt Olson will be his first assignment here as he'll face him with runners at first and second and two away. The 1-1. One, one. Keeping it down here as it's to one and two. And it's fouled away. Big spot. Two out. Possible tying and go-ahead runs on base. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. Yusmeri Petit will come on now and make his 55th appearance of the year. Number 35. Last half of the seventh here. And coming forward now is the shortstop, J.P. Crawford. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. Now the fastball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. Now batting. In now the Number Mariners 22. DH. Patrick Wisdom. He's grounded out and lined out in two trips. Popped him up. Olsen has a play. Makes the play and there are two gone now. So the batting order turns over now and set to go. D. Gordon in previous matchups with Yusmero Petit. He's got five base hits in 20 at bats. He also has one home run. And a half swing here, but this is in there for a cold strike, too. Now a fastball, but that's easy to lay off, and it's back to even at two and two. Bouncer up the middle. Oh, a diving effort as it's off his glove. And not really much of a chance to recover there as he'll reach first on what undoubtedly will be scored as an infield single. Now a throw over, but the runner's back easily. And again a throw, and he just manages to get his hand in. We're in the seventh inning now of a pitcher's duel. Two to one our score. Standing in now, Malik Smith. 
And he'll try to hold back the swing, but he'll do so unsuccessfully as that's ruled a strike. Swung on in the dirt for the third strike. And that ends the inning. Dan Altavia has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 53. Dan. Ready to begin the eighth and stepping in the long ball threat, Mark Canna. The 1-1. One -one. Hit weakly back to the mound. Throw on to first in time, so the leadoff man is set down to open up inning number eight. So that brings up the always intense Matt Chapman. One for two on his line so far in the game. The three and one pitch. And he lays off ball four. So now the potential tying run here is aboard late in the game. Time called here as with the potential tying run aboard, they'll make the move to get a little more speed out there. Chris Davis next to bat. It was a walk in his last trip. Now the 2 1 is swung on and missed, and that's strike two. Hey, would like to see a little bit more discipline than that. You get a count in your favor, he's swinging a pitch that bad. Not good. Fouled away. Open to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Skied into straightaway right. Waiting on it is Henniger. And he makes the catch for the second out. On to first, a double play. Jake Diekman is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Bottom of inning number eight set to go, and that'll bring up the outfielder, Mitch Henniger. The 1-1. One -one. Hot shot to third. Oh, and it eats him up a bit. Throw pulls the first baseman off the bag. Runner at first following the error. And here comes the first baseman, Daniel Vogelback. Fouled off. Here now the 2-2. Doesn't get the zone. Count full now. Diekman has seen his role change with those one batter lefty specialists going the way of the dodo as a part of MLB's pace of play initiatives. But they'll just get the one out here as the runner will get back safely at first. At the plate, Carlos Gonzalez. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. And he's keeping it down here, and that's a cold strike, too. In the dirt, and now let's see. And he is in there. They couldn't get him at second. And forget about the double play now as he'll move up to second here on the wild pitch. Here now the 2-2. Pulled toward right center field. Center fielder giving chase. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. Into the box. Kyle Seager, runner in scoring position with Sugan. And it looks like they'd rather go after the next guy as the intentional walk signal comes here with two away. And that'll bring in Tom Murphy. Looking to keep this a one-run game, the pitch. Lays off two and two now. Hard hit at third. And eight innings have come and gone now as the inning is over. Austin Adams takes the ball now in inning number nine, looking to close the door. Number 63, Austin. Coming to the plate now, Stephen Piscotti. He's one for two in this one.
the 2 1. Waves and misses for strike number two. I think it's about time to choke up on that bat and get that foot down. He's awfully tardy right now. Swung on and missed. Really fooled him that time for the first out. So coming to the plate, Austin Allen. It was a walk in his last trip. High and deep to straightaway right. Ranging back is Henniger. On the warning track, he makes the catch. Hayes down to their final out now. And digging in now, Ramon Laureano. One run game here in the top of the ninth. And that's upstairs running the count to three and one. You know, over the course of a full season, you're going to have some clunkers, and this certainly looks like one. By the look on the manager's face, he's going to probably call a meeting after this. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. And a big sigh of relief on the mound as that nearly tied it, but this ball is foul. Last strike now for Oakland. And he lays off ball four. Now the potential tying run here is aboard late in the game. Now bad. Digging in, Tony Kemp. Oh, He'll be looking for something he could drive into the gap and drive home that tying run from first. The 2-1 home. Call didn't go his way on 2-1, and one, but it's important here on 3-1 and one to still make a quality pitch. You have to have the mindset that you're still the one in the driver's seat. And he fouls this one off. Has them down to their final strike. Here it comes. And he missed with it. Ball four. So that means now the potential tying run will move into scoring position at second. Now a swing and a ground ball. This should do it. Oh, and he can't pick it up cleanly. Striding in, Matt Olson, as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. Struck him out, so a great job of working out of certain danger as he strands the possible tying and winning runs on base, and the ball game is over. Wow, that ninth inning was unbelievable. They load the bases with the tying run at third and the go-ahead run on second, but they can't find a way to bring them home. So close, but yet so far. Close one tonight, 2-1 to one the final score. The Seattle Mariners used a nice fifth inning to take the lead, and they never gave it back. Eric Swanson claims the win out of the pen his first. Austin Adams wraps it up for the save his 25th of the year. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vasquez, and you've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. Our final line for tonight. First for the victorious Seattle Mariners. Two runs, six hits, one error. They left eight runners on base. For the Athletics, one run, seven hits, one error, and 13 runners left on base. Time of the ball game, two hours and 33 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this evening. We remind you to please drive